Fatima's cove on the 13th of May, the Virgin Maria appeared at midday. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The Virgin Maria, surrounded by light, God's mother is ours, for she gives us this sight. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The world was then suffering from war, plague, and strife, and Portugal mourned for her great loss of life. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice car from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. 
they shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of all grace, of all race. You are the highest honor of all grace. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with the blessings. Since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees, you are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. After having spent about two weeks here before at another, during another pilgrimage, I was asked by, the, by a pilgrim where Our Lady appeared. And I was struck because after two weeks of being in Fatima, somehow we had forgotten to mention that Our Lady appeared there. This is where Mary appeared. If anyone was wondering, this is where the home oak stood. But as good Catholics, the home oak is now relics in people's homes because so many came and took branches and twigs and parts of the tree and it is gone. But here is where Our Lady appeared. And the pilgrims that came with me from the United States, I have been reading the different apparitions over the first four months and I'm going to briefly now read the fifth and the sixth. I'm briefly going to read them because we don't have time for me to go too long. So on the 13th of September, many people had come to Fatima because they had heard that something was going on here and they wanted to be close to where they thought at least Our Lady was appearing. And so the children were on their way and they struggled through the crowds and Lucia says, many who couldn't get close to us shouted from a distance, for the love of God, ask Our Lady to cure my crippled son. Another said, and mine who is blind. 
and yet another and mine who is deaf, that my son and my husband return from the war, that Our Lady convert me a sinner, that she cure me of tuberculosis, and so on. At length we arrived at the COVID era, and reaching the home oak, we began to pray the rosary with the people. A little later, we saw the flash of light, and Our Lady appeared on the home oak. She said, Continue to pray the rosary in order to obtain the end of the war. In October, our Lord will come, and also Our Lady of Dolores and Our Lady of Mount Carmel. St. Joseph will appear with the child Jesus to bless the world. God is pleased with your sacrifices, but he does not want you to sleep with the cord on, only to wear it during the daytime. And I was told to ask you many things, she said to Our Lady, the cure of some sick people, for example. Yes, I will cure others, some, but not others. In October, I will perform a miracle so that all will believe. And then in October, on the 13th, just to set the scene, it was raining very hard. Everything was wet with torrential rain. Many, many people were here, and Lucia's mother was sure that she would die that day. And she wanted to accompany her to the home oak. On reaching the home oak in the COVID era, moved by an interior impulse, I asked the people to shut their umbrellas to say the rosary. Very soon after, we saw the flash of light, and Our Lady appeared over the home oak. What do you want of me, I asked. I want to tell you that I wish a chapel to be erected here in my honor, for I am the Lady of the Rosary. Continue to say the rosary every day. The war will end soon, and the soldiers will return to their homes. I have many things to ask you, I, asked, I said, the cure of some sick persons, the conversion of sinners, and other things. And Our Lady responded, some yes, not others. It is necessary for them to amend their lives, to ask forgiveness for their sins. And with a sad expression on her face, do not offend God our Lord anymore, for he is already deeply offended. Then opening her hands, she made them reflect on the sun while she ascended. The reflection from her per person was projected on the sun. Our Lady disappeared in the immense distance of the firmament. Besides the sun, we saw St. Joseph with the child Jesus, and Our Lady robed in, a white, with, in white with a blue mantle. St. Joseph and the child Jesus seemed to bless the world, for they made a sign of the cross with their hands. A little later, this vision vanished, and I saw Our Lord and Our Lady, who appeared to me to be Our Lady of Dolores. Our, Lady, Our Lord seemed to bless the world in the same manner as St. Joseph. This apparition disappeared, and I saw Our Lady again, this time resembling Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So this is the apparition of October, and in that, uh, in that apparition at the end, when the people realized that the miracle of the sun had occurred, everything was dry. They started out, everything was wet, they were soaking wet, the ground was wet, everything was dry. So the miracle had occurred and many people believe and we know that this was reported in the newspaper of the area by the government that was not very, let's say, friendly to the idea of the Christian faith. We live in a time now when the secular world is again not very friendly to the idea of the Christian faith. And yet you and I are disciples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we are disciples of Our Lady. We are disciples who are called to pray. To pray for peace. To pray for an end of sin. For the conversion of sinners. For the salvation of souls. Those in our group were, in, were with me in Balazar the other day. And... Blessed Alexandrina said regularly, stop offending God. And in this sixth apparition from Our Lady, she said, cease offending God. And here we are a hundred years later. And so many don't hear that message. Sometimes we don't hear that message. 
we must cease offending God. And sometimes it may seem as, we, as if we are covered with a torrential rain, that we are covered with the rain of disbelief and people who would attack us for our faith. We have a weapon against such things, and that is the rosary. My brothers and sisters, it's not just here in Fatima that we should pray the rosary every day, more than once a day. We should pray the rosary when we go home. We should bring this message back to our homes, back to our parishes, back to our countries. We need Fatima today. We need the peace that comes from the conversion of hearts. We need to return to our Lord and Savior. We need to be His disciples. Message, the message of Fatima is truly a message of peace but only if we embrace the entire message. And the entire message demands that we turn from sin, that we do penance for our sin and for the sins of the entire world. And souls will be converted and the world will come to God. Let us be true disciples of our Lord. Let us be true disciples of Mary. Let us be di disciples of Fatima. Pray the rosary, pray the rosary daily, and the world will be converted. Here at this sacred spot where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his Son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it, and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the justice and the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here present and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith, we ask this through Jesus Christ, your son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The offertory hymn will be number 43, The King of Love. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he Where 
streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he's leading, and where the verdant pastures grow, with food celestial feeding, perverse and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no will, with you, dear Lord, beside me, your rod and staff, my comfort still, your cross before to guide me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your grace. The praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. We please to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, 
and those who holding to the truth hint on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mortem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confiteimor, dole venias. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, Offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that the gifts of... Gifts, these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. <clears throat> Rise.
Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Agnus Dei, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
Communion hymn will be number 33, O Jesus, we adore thee. O Jesus, we adore thee, who in thy love divine conceal thy mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore thee, our victim and our priest, whose precious blood and body Become our sacred feast, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore thee, our Savior and our King, and with the saints and angels a humble homage bring. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every Jesus, we adore thee, come live in us, we pray. Let all our thoughts and actions be thine alone today. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O come all you who labor in sorrow and in pain. Come eat this bread from heaven, your peace and strength regain. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Number 24, Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all, how can I love thee as I ought? And how reveal this wondrous gift so sore surpassing hope or thought. Sweet sacrament, we adore. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Oh, make us love Had I but Mary's sinless heart to love thee with my dearest King, oh, with what bursts of fervent praise thy 
Thy goodness, Jesus, would I sing. Sweet sacrament, we thee adore. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in the commemorating of the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray together the Jubilee Prayer of Consecration to Our Lady. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary of Fatima, blessed among all women, you are the image of the Church, dressed in Paschal light. You are the honor of our people. You are the triumph over the mark of evil. Prophecy of the merciful love of the Father, teacher of the Annunciation of the Good News of the Son, sign of the burning fire of the Holy Spirit, teach us in this valley of joys and sorrows the eternal truths that the Father reveals to the little ones. Show us the strength of your mantle of protection in your immaculate heart. Be the refuge of sinners and the way that leads to God in the unity with my brethren in faith, hope, and love. I surrender myself to you in unity with my brethren. Through you, I consecrate myself to God, O Virgin of the Rosary of Fatima. And thus surrounded by the light that comes from your hands, I will give glory to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And I will now bless all of the, orig the religious articles that you have with, uh, with you. Through the intercession of St. Jacinta and Francisco and Our Lady of Fatima in her most immaculate heart, may the grace of Almighty God descend upon all of your religious articles that they may all be blessed and carry you ever more closely to his, his most sacred and Eucharistic heart. May Almighty God bless all of your religious articles, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is... The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Closing hymn will be number five, number six, Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary.